Hello, thank you for joining me. And this film is to answer a question I got from one of my students. He was uh, putting some uh, clapboard siding on his building. And he, uses, uh, he used the yellow paint color, or created a yellow paint color and painted the side of the building. It was a little myth that um, you know, the side of the building stopped looking like clapboard siding. It just looked like a regular painted flat surface. So I want to show him and show everybody else how to uh, actually get around that, where we can take the clapboard siding and not necessarily paint it, with the paint command you find in the modified toolbar, but change the colors of that clapboard siding in order for it to, you know, it could be colored any sort of color. It just takes a couple uh, steps and, okay, enough talking. Let me show you how to do that. So what we have, what I did is I took one of my walls, an exterior wall with a door on it, and I put uh, some clapboard siding on it. If you go to the realistic button, take a look at what it looks like, it's going to be that brown tannish color that it comes with, uh, that it, you know, it comes with out of, right out of the box. Kind of looks like MDF, or not MDF, but, uh, you know, the T111 OSB product that you get that's uh, typically primed to kind of a tan color. So, a lot of people may not uh, necessarily like the way this looks. You know, what, what this is, is it's uh, an image in the background that's driving, you know, the way this looks if you're going to do a photo real rendering of this. So, let's take a look at that. If you go to Materials, and go to the Material tab, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take that side in, that clapboard side in, and make a copy of it. So, if you click on that, go to, uh, let's pull this in view here. Uh, let's go to the duplicate button, which is down here in the lower left-hand corner. We're going to duplicate that, and it's going to be signing clapboard, and this time we're going to call it yellow. And go to OK. So, of course, once we make a change in the name, we also have to change some of its properties. So this is that image I was telling you about. Uh, the image, uh, you know, it just looks like uh, it does, and, um, you know, when you actually zoom in on, a, on it relatively close in our, uh, in our elevation view, uh, this is what the image uh, looks like in the background. You can take these images and actually load them into the project, but that will be the source of a, of a different film for now. But what we'd like to do is change the color. So right now it's a white color. Let's go to yellow, which is 255, 255, and 0 on the blue for red and green, and go to OK, and then go to OK again. And what you're not going to see is any change because we really haven't applied that material to our siding yet. Just go to OK anyways, and click on that, uh, that uh, wall. Select that wall. Let's go ahead and edit the type of that wall. And uh, and right now the wall is selected uh, for the material uh, clapboard siding. But let's go ahead and uh, select that new material that we put in there. And this is kind of an iterative process. I'm showing you the steps uh, that are involved in this thing and how to make it actually look the way you really want it to look. Because initially when we do this, it's not going to look like anything like what we want it to look, even though it does change it. Uh, to the color yellow up here, there's not going to be any influence from that color in our product ultimately when we get to it. So go to OK, to go to OK, and click on the outside and really no change. So this is how you do it. We're going to go back to that wall. We're going to go to edit that type, or an easier way to do that is go to materials. We can uh, eliminate a couple steps here if we just jump right to it. Go to the materials, go to the material tab. Uh, initially, but then go to Appearance Property Sets, which was where we were. But this is the, the field we want to play around with, Image Fade. What that does is it kind of gives you a balance between what the image is in the background and the color. Right now it's 100% image and 0% color, so if we were to scoot this all the way down where it's primarily color, you'll see that yellow color come out. So you can see that a little bit in the background. It's mostly yellow color with just a little bit of the image. So what you want to do at this point is kind of play around with that until you get something you feel is uh, adequately descriptive or you know, something that adequately represents what you really want it to look like ultimately. So maybe somewhere 50% uh, might be good. It does have a yellow color to it, but it does have a little bit of the image uh, coming through in the background and some of the wood grain associated with it, which might be a little bit more realistic. If you're pretty happy with it, go to Apply, go to OK, and there's your yellow wall. Well, thank you for joining me. There will be more videos.